Hello again, everyone, and welcome back. We are today celebrating Black History Month 2024. And as we have been doing, we're doing so by combining two of my favorite things, my love of African clothing, and also my love of books. So for the last few days, I have been sharing with you excerpts from some of my favorite black material. And today is no exception. So I am here looking at Erna Brodba's book. It's called The Continent of Black Consciousness on the History of the African Diaspora from Slavery to the Present Day. Erna Brodba is a writer, a novelist, a historian, a sociologist. She resides in the Woodside community of St. Mary, Jamaica, and she is truly a force to be reckoned with. She has, to her credit, a number of fiction and nonfiction writings. And to read her work is to realize the depth of knowledge that she has, but also to realize her love for the folk and for the things that impact the folk. So this continent of black consciousness is a nonfiction. It's actually a collection of seven lectures that she delivered to her Woodside community. And interestingly today, I don't want to read um, Broadbus words. I wanted to share with you from the introduction to the work as written by Rupert Lewis, because what Erna Broadba accomplished is something I think several of us in academia should consider and should certainly applaud. So hopefully the introduction will be self-explanatory. So I'm going to share just a bit with you. Rupert Lewis says, I have had the experience on more than one occasion of being invited to the Woodside community as speaker in Dr. Broadbur's Black Space program. Venues have ranged from her home, the community center, the church, and the memorial called Daddy Rock, where our forefathers and foremothers met to reason about their own business. Daddy Rock is situated on a steep hillside and in slavery times was covered with bush and was not easily accessible. These things combined to make it a good hideout for secret meetings by enslaved Africans in that community. It has now been recovered as one of the important sites for emancipation reasonings by Dr. Broadbar and the Woodside community. More importantly, as a result of her research, some of the villagers can trace their African ancestors back to the days of slavery and therefore family and community pasts have been fused in a new understanding of our story. This book provides the historical background to the experience of which Daddy Rock is a symbol. In the foreword to the book, Erna Brodba tells us that the lectures which comprise the collection were given in a series of lectures called the Seven Second Sunday Seminars. This series inaugurated what I hope will be the school for the descendants of Africans enslaved in the New World, housed here in the small rural village of Woodside in St. Mary, Jamaica. What is this continent of black consciousness? It is a pan-African construct based on the shared historical experience arising from the transatlantic slave trade, plantation slavery, slave revolts, and post-emancipation construction. The author has created an intellectual space for remembering and remaking self, and she has built an important bridge between scholars and community that ought to be multiplied in rural and urban com communities elsewhere in Africa and the African diaspora. And it is that last point that I want to reiterate, that Erna Broadba has taken scholastic matters matters that are usually confined to the halls of a university into her woodside community and she has brought to their understanding important matters related to their african ancestry this is something that george lamming said years ago should be encouraged that academia should not just be confined or discussions about or african ancestry or african history or connections here in the African diaspora should not be confined to just studies within the walls of universities, but that it should really be shared with our wider communities. This way there will be greater impact and there will be greater opportunities for change. I am Dr. Stephanie Fullerton Cooper. Thank you for joining me yet again for Black Creative Expressions. This is the theme, this is the focus for Black History Month.
2024. See you next time.